Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Legacy of the Rimlin uh, Post Spice Edition and now we have the Spice Enjoyer herself uh, to judge said spice with us, I suppose. Hi Ashen. Uh, Yo! <laughs> but, uh, but before we get into that and um, all of that good stuff, as usual, let's have our players introduce themselves and their characters. I really should have had like rigged the dice so that Ashen would have gone first, but no, the dice say that Delhi should go first and introduce themselves and their character. Uh, Delhi, we're all listening. <laughs> of course. Hello, everyone. I am Delhi, and uh, as usual, I am playing the character Moonin. They are a traveling scholar from Brightland. Um, very secretive, very mischievous, and devious, um, and deceptive, or at least they think so. They're trying to get the town to uh, fight each other, basically. The people of the town to um, squabble. <laughs> By the way, uh, this is like a random thought that popped in my mind. And I guess I guess I'm going to backseat game you a little bit, Deli. <laughs> maybe for like this little side quest, maybe you could have swapped your like quick and sneaky around, maybe because sneaky might be more useful. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> sorry for the I, I, sorry for the back sitting. Go ahead. It's okay. I forget that we can do that on the on the fly. To be fair, but um, it's okay. I'll I'll wing it for now. Sure. Um, your sneaky isn't bad at at the moment anyway. It's just that it could have been better. Okay. Uh, thank you very very much, Delhi. Uh, next we would have the aforementioned Ashen. Ashen, could you please go ahead and introduce yourself and your character? Yeah, yeah. Hola, senorita. I'm Ashen, and I'm <laughs> playing as Alona. I was away last time for quite a bit, but I've heard it's going <laughs> swimmingly. I appreciate the brief hello in, yeah, funnily enough, I guess, Tivian in our universe. The place you're from. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, thank you very, very much, Ashen. Uh, next, we would have Show and Tell. Could you please uh, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character? Yes, hi, I'm Show and Tell, and I'll be playing as Angel. And right now, he's not exactly sure about Moonin's plan, but he. I guess it's better than no plan, which is where he's at. So. I'm not even sure Moonin's sure of Moonin's plan. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll have to deal. I don't know. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Thank you very, very much, Show and Tell. So, last time, uh, as we briefly alluded to, uh, our heroes were still in this uh, little former slave village. Uh, slaves who have liberated themselves, deciding on what to do. Uh, I guess first things first, going chronological, uh, Angel made a fancy sculpture of an auroch for Ilona to potentially use as a bargaining chip uh, with the local witch to potentially decurse herself, uh, which is fun. Uh, then... Moonen returned to the group after their conversation with a certain lady with a blue with the blue with a blue sun, I guess. <laughs> Prepositions are hard. There. Uh yeah. And you guys had a bunch of veiled conversations because you were afraid of who might be listening to you. And to be perfectly honest, like I, I know sort of above board what you guys intend, but I don't know how much your characters understand the intentions of the other characters if that makes sense um mm. like moon like during this conversation moon was giving a bunch of hints to angel that maybe they've changed their mind about some things and i'm not super sure how much of that angel got um yeah um either way you guys then decided to check out the ruins of the monastery uh, and also one of the houses on the advice of acacias who misinterpreted some of Moonin's words, um, namely Akesi still thinks that Moonin is on the side of hunting down Eusebius, which may or may not be true. And Akesi said, well, okay, you have basically, okay, you haven't found Eusebius in Daniel's house. There's maybe some Eusebius related stuff at those two places. Uh, at the ruins, you guys found some documents that, are, that you have read, yet to read. Uh, and you... When you went to check out the other house, 
which was initially labeled uh, Bada's house. You did not find said Bada there. You found a guy named Cornell uh, who killed Bada and took over his house. Um, and <laughs> as you do, um, Cornell is a very, very nasty individual, very aggressive, very rude. A self-proclaimed worshipper of Enyalios, whom he claims is he is in direct contact with, Enyalios being the Rimland go the Rimlin god of war. Um, but he was also being very shady and very bad at being shady. And after dropping a bunch of hints that uh, that I guess the Angel Moon and Eliona didn't quite get, uh, your guide Yon basically spilled the beans that yeah, Cornell is sleeping with Orita's fiance. Orita being sort of the leader of this uprising, and basically that the entire village knows except for Orita herself, because I guess that's kind of often how it goes. Um, that's more or less where we left off uh, with. Oh, um, well, I guess the last part of the session was a conversation between. Uh, the player characters and the guide Yon basically trying to convince Yon to spill the beans in Orita uh, to Orita in the hopes of sowing discord. The outcome of it was Yon is convinced that do, telling Orita will make Orita pleased with him, I guess, uh, but he's currently too afraid to do so, if that makes sense. So we sort of resume uh, with everyone uh, as I go to. Uh, turn on the background music real quick. Uh, right at the end of this conversation, uh, which sort of ended with Yon strongly proclaiming, no, I'm not going to do it, um, at least for the moment. Um, and there's, I guess, one little thing uh, that I forgot to do earlier in the last session. We briefly alluded to it in the discussion, but I guess I'll do it now to like, kick things off, if that's all right with everyone. Uh, namely... Moon and you'll get uh, sort of a Cassius telling you uh, after um, in regards to Cornell. Uh, yeah, the followers of Enyalios are kind of like that, meaning like gruff and very outspoken. <clears throat> yeah. And oh, he'll also mention the the items that I indicated that you should find are inside the house. Hmm. All right. Um, this guy is still in the doorway, isn't he? He went back inside. Uh, like oh, you, got, you, got, you guys departed. Um, okay. And the items that we just as a refresher, sorry, the items that we're looking for in the house. Um, obviously they're related to um, finding Eusebius. Yeah. D I mean, my question is. Acacius hasn't been specific about what it could be yet, has he? No. Or... No. No, okay. Hmm. Um... Though, uh, based on how you found the documents among the ruins, um, you know that, like, if you... Like, for instance, hypothetically, say Cornell has a bunch of stuff on a table in his in his house... A, you'll be like pointed out, like a Cassius will indicate it's that one thing on the table that's interesting, for instance. Okay. So it's a case of. Because obviously, Moonin, obviously, above board. This is above board information. Moonin doesn't really. Re, Moonin doesn't really want to go in there. But, um, but obviously, they kind of feel like they have to choose or they have to like at least pretend well, to also um like this stuff that are, that are cases indicated like it's optional like hypothetically say moonen is entirely dedicated to finding eusebius and leaving aside that angel knows where eusebius is leaving that aside what a cases gave you is okay there's some clues here and there but if you find eusebius without those clues that's obviously perfectly fine okay That is a good point. Um, as in, like that's that, that's kind of like a get out of jail free card a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I think Mooney would think in their mind um, to uh, in regard, like speaking to a Cassius. Um, I don't trust. Th like I think entering this man's house 
without his permission is not a good idea. Obviously. Um, well, if you wish to avoid a direct confrontation. Mm. I I think we can, Moonin would think, I think we can find um, Eusebius without the help of these clues. And I haven't even read these scrolls yet. Um, so maybe... I look forward maybe... to seeing the results if you are so confident, child. Hmm. Moonin would sort of nod and then sort of turn away and they would say to everyone like, oh, um, <clears throat> that's, well, I mean, <clears throat> Moonin would turn away and maybe just like sort of beckon everyone like, okay, we're done here. Like, and, the, uh, and then sort of, Moonin would turn to be ready to like, if someone else wants to, excuse me, if someone else wants to like, um, Ob object and say like, oh, actually, I want to in interact with this guy or push this guy's buttons. Does that make sense? Uh, what? Alone, I wouldn't want to do that. So, okay, should be foregoing. Um, show and tell. Like Cornell. I... Yeah. I mean, I thought he went in the house already. Yeah. Or no, he did. But I was, I was like, basically, mooning. Mooning is wondering. Do you want to push this guy's buttons, or are we done here? Like, basically. Oh. Uh, no, Anya won't say anything. Like, okay. Uh... Okay, in that case, Moonin would walk away. And they would, like, as they're walking away, maybe they'd, like, pull out, um, like, one of the parchments or, like, scrolls or something. Um, oh, that, like... parchment. It's parchment. Okay. They'd mm -hmm. pull out a scroll and then, like, sort of unravel it sort of thing like 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 careful not to sort of rip anything mm -hmm. um and they would read if they can uh, as mentioned previous session yon would be uh pleasantly surprised that you know how to read <laughs> um, again the um the scrolls uh well not scrolls sorry uh the documents are not like in a coded language, they're not hard to decipher, so I don't need you to roll. Um, you find that uh, those uh, that... I'm assuming that once you get the general gist of one document, you like go to the next and go to the next to like get at least a general image, perhaps. Um, all of yeah. them are bills of sales involving slaves. Oh, uh, okay. It, um, um, you can you can take some time to study them in detail or if you want to like not take the time you can roll me a careful to see if you notice something so basically, um, basically results get results guaranteed but you have to take time or roll me a careful but it happens quicker okay if I rolled a careful would it count as a stunt uh, which stunt or rather my, would my stunt apply stunt? I think uh, it probably wouldn't, but I think the stunt is there's something like oh, um, careful is increased when looking for something, or when st I don't think it does apply because I think it says something like searching their surroundings. When and this analyzing isn't... someone or their surroundings, documents are not people or surroundings, so unfortunately no. not. That's okay. All right, I'll roll a careful anyway. Please. Oh, a two. Oh. Um. Nope. Not much, I, not much I can tell you for two other than, uh, like, maybe you, rec you recognize some um, that Orita was bought uh, by this monastery like 30 years ago uh, from her family. Um, you most, like, like, very minor information that's not necessarily useful to you at like a okay. glance. Okay. Um... In that case, Moonin would, um, as they're walking, maybe Moonin would like, well, they'd sort of be careful to watch their step. Um, but they would walk towards um, Arita's sort of hut or like building or something. <clears throat> to, yeah. Uh, in a way to be like, oh, let's go see Arita, like to everyone else. Um, Feel free to click and drag your tokens on the map if you guys want. I um, think Yon will say, because the, your guys' last co conversation was about 
Power Rita is being cheated on, uh, Yon will say <laughs> what you want to tell her. Ah, uh, tell, tell her. No, uh, <laughs> that's your job. Uh, I, I just said I'm not gonna do it. Not now, at least. Hmm. Well, we don't have to do it. You, <laughs> sorry, we. You don't have to do this now. Um, but I, th I think we need to admit defeat in finding, um, <clears throat> in finding who we're looking for. Have you ever, been, have you even, you, the only places you've searched are the ruins and he points that Angel went in Daniel's house and he, that's it. Mm. Well, <laughs> surely if the, if, um. Sorry, Eusebius? Above yeah. Okay, thank you. Surely if Eusebius isn't here, he wouldn't be anywhere. Um, because if he what? was anywhere, he would be hiding in, and Moonin would, like, go to point towards the house where he's hiding, but maybe they wouldn't. Because maybe that's a bit too obvious. But then they would say... Um, is Moonin above, in, uh, above board, is Moonin aware where Eusebius is? Because Angel has um, not directly said it, and I'm curious what yeah, Moonin yeah. thinks. M Moonin is guessing, basically, okay. that mm -hmm. because, and to be honest, if anything, maybe Moonin actually believes to an extent what they're saying, because they're saying like, oh, well, if he's not in there and Angel searched there, then he can't be anywhere. He's probably dead, you know? Well, it's a bit of an... Go bit ahead. of an arrogant way to look at it. Sorry, go on. Uh, my bad. I thought you were saying that in character. Go, you go on. Okay. No, no, no. I was, I was saying it above hey, board, but, yeah. but, but, but I, but I'm done basically. Like Moonin's being intentionally naive. I think. But like, <laughs> aren't you like the, the smart old seeing person that was predicted to come? I am. Well, then and... find him. Well, Angel kind of points a a hand at the what? What did we say the name was? Kringo. Uh, you can, uh, if you want to ping somewhere on the map, you can uh, uh, oh. hold down the left mouse button and it will ping somewhere. Yeah, Kringo. Yeah. It the so he, he just the, points at it. The second to last letter is a G again. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, where's the Kranga? Where does he point? Just a sec here. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, Moon would ask, "What? What? What do you think is over there?" Uh, this again. That's that's Orida's fiance's place. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Moonin would Moonin would audibly say, "Oh," but obviously, maybe would Angel say it in in his head or something? <laughs> no, Angel doesn't really get it. I I, I don't think Angel. No, he did get some of it, but he doesn't like. He's not interested in that aspect so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but well, he does really like. He's just trying to like not, basically, to distract from like where Eusebius actually is, basically. Okay. But to make it seem like we are looking. Just, yeah. Just, or something. just for the record, um, Rebob's not participating in the in that particular conversation because he feels secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> um. Well, Moonin would look to Angel and say, oh, I do you want to be the bearer of bad, new bad news then?" <laughs> thought he, I thought he couldn't talk. Uh, I can translate for him. <laughs> well, then my, why don't you say it anyway? <laughs> Or you points at Ilona. I love ah. my shrugs. Like, ah, not my business. Or you yeah. points at Rebob, and Rebob just shakes his head furiously. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, bless Rebob. <laughs> Re Rebob. Well, Moon would say if a, if a, if news like that came from the mouths of someone like us, I feel like. It would be less credible because you've been here longer than us. What does that mean? Um, less trustworthy. No, like, As in, what's your point? 
my point is, if I mean we we are less likely to get the point across to um, Orita or her fiance, whereas someone like you would have a better chance. Well, the fiance knows that he's well, yeah he that he's cheating on Orita. So what's there to tell him? I guess does he know that everyone else knows? Yeah, we've caught them multiple times. I just told you. Hmm. Right. Well, I guess he doesn't know that someone is willing to tell Rita. Who? And <laughs> points at him. What? I just, not... <laughs> I just told you that I'm not doing it. But we're not right now anyway. Yeah. Um. Oh, what's the harm? You'll be doing you'll be doing a Rita a favor. We've just had this conversation. I I'm I'm done. <laughs> Have it your way. But above board again, uh, uh, Delhi. I want I will keep your stunt in mind, so you'll be able to try again. But I also have to keep your minus two roll in mind. This guy's too scared at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Um, so I can't roll to psych him up yet, or not at the moment because it's been like less than a couple minutes in like okay, that's real fine. time. Okay, okay. Um, so what does everyone think? Um, I guess above board, but also Moon and would ask everyone. I guess, like, do, do either of you two have a strong opinion where to go or like who to speak to first? As in, show and tell, then um, not. <laughs> show and tell? Like. Above board, show and tell, and Ashen, but um, in game, I guess. Um, I guess so. I'm going to learn it. Yeah, I don't know what is. I don't know what it is with me in names recently, but uh, yeah. No, it is confusing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Did Anke already ask what Mune was trying was planning? Because I feel like we talked about it last session. We... I don't know if Anke actually asked. You mean regarding the fiance thing or the general plan of not killing everything? People from... Yeah. What what Mune was trying to achieve basically? Uh, the general plan of not killing everything bit. I don't know how much Angel got because Mune was trying to be super sneaky so that the Cassius didn't catch on. Um, yeah. As, right, right, okay, yeah, we did talk about it. As for this whole, like, high school drama thing, um, <laughs> we roleplayed it last time that Angel is blissfully unaware. And, again, that Ilona sort of, like, nudged him a couple of times, like, come on, Angel, get, get with the plan. Get with the plan. Right, right, okay. Um, in that case... Unless someone has a better idea, I feel like it would probably be a good idea to um, tell Arita that we failed, maybe? Um, and it's like, well, Mooney would have to say what they said earlier. It's like, oh, well, he's not here, so he's probably nowhere, sort of thing. You see this? What do we, what do we reckon? Or is that the boring, boring way to go about it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, it just sounds like we're kind of too eager to kind of tell her. Um, one small reminder um, from not the not last session, but the one before that. Um, Orita was made aware by s presumably the Lady of the Blue Sun that one of you will lie to her. A bubble that probably means mm -hmm. Angel because, yeah. Uh, but in character, she ha she told you guys that she's not super sure who's the liar yet. If that makes sense. Yeah, she thought it might have been Moonin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what you're doing might confirm that belief. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not very. I don't know. Sophisticated. <laughs> yeah. Just come and be like, oh yeah, we did fine. I would. <laughs> I'm refraining to. S speak above board too much about what we could do because obviously 
how would that how would our characters know the plan right but basically i'm thinking i just had a thought what if we could pretend that we found him dead obviously we'd have to prove it yeah exactly that, that's yeah that's a better option but we ha will have to prove it maybe yeah. we could go to the wish is the witch Latrima. Mm -hmm. on our side and like is she like a slave too uh, what you know about the witch, from what Yon has told you, is that she was a slave, but she's kind of a, I guess, sort of a mercenary, for lack of a better term. For instance, she didn't participate in the uprising. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe she could help us if we paid her, but I don't know what we could pay her with. You could You do have the have... sculpture that you made for Ilona. Yeah, and yeah. you could have another one. That was for Ilona. What? You could carve another. You could use your stunt to carve another one, if you want. Um, I guess so. Um, I don't think that's a terrible uh, to create us a, a dead body. <laughs> to, <laughs> uh, I guess or, or make it somehow seem like see, yeah. this is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well. Tokens of like, like to. I mean, in the Middle Ages, <laughs> in the Middle Ages, in the Middle of a Middle Ages, unless you saw a dead body, like, like what they used to do is like. <gasps> okay. What? Um, <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know if she, I don't know if a witch can do this, but um, how cool would it be? So to prove if someone is dead, you you have to bring someone like uh like a severed finger or an ear or like a severed head or something but what if the witch like had okay. one of those yeah what? making up making up a, a severed finger is is a lot easier than a whole body that's for sure that's true but if 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 we needed a severed head a witch could probably make her use magic to like um make a severed head look like someone else do sense? we have a severed? Yeah. Do we have a severed head then? Okay. I don't know. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. I can take care of this. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Or we could just kill Eusebius. <laughs> you guys can like stand for the um, for the payment for the witch, and I'll stand for the the severed head. Okay. Okay. Did did we actually have this conversation in game though? Uh. I think so. No. Yeah. No. Well, Yon's and, there, so mind your words. You know, yeah. And also someone uh, else may be listening. Okay, maybe not. Right. Yeah, no, it, it was too much over boardy. Above boardy. Yeah, that's the trouble. Fitting. Um, I guess... Maybe we could, like, say, oh, well, should we visit the witch to give her the... Because you've got the, the, the statue. Yeah. So it would make yeah, and sense we have for, a reason to go to the witch. Yeah. For Elona. It would make sense for Elona to pipe up and say, like, oh, let's can we visit the witch before we do anything? Because I want to get rid of this curse. Like, not to put words in your mouth, Elona. Not obviously. at all, because that's, like, what I was thinking before we even had this, this conversation. I okay. was like, maybe I should, like, not join the group anymore and just go to the witch. But it's better if we all just go there, so. Yeah, cool, cool, Let's cool. freaking go! Witch time! Epic. So Lon would say, you guys, um, if you don't mind, I really want to visit the witch because I don't <laughs> want to run off into a tree again. Um, yeah, I want to deal with this. Yeah, that was weird, says Yon. Mm. I don't gives like him a look. Mm -hmm. Moonin would pretend, like, obviously this is a lie, but Moonin would say, like, I guess a witch, I guess a witch would probably be a clairvoyant enough to know where Eusebius is. Mm -mm. If, if you pay her enough. Mm. We we have enough. We, we're we good for it, aren't we, Angel? Yeah. Um, Angel, I, I think I... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just thinking that Angel, I don't know if he will come up with this plan, though. I think he, he might have to come from Moonin. That's fine. Um... um so Angel uh, is not clear on going on, but he's like, yeah, sure. 
Like, yeah. I mean, because he did make the 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 sculpture. Yeah, or Alana, I guess. Like. I guess for now, because obviously Moonin doesn't know this plan yet either in game, which is confusing. <laughs> which is confusing. <laughs> But um, I guess for now, it's like, oh, Moonin's thing is like, oh, well, we might as well kill some time so it doesn't look suspicious. Maybe Angel is like, oh, well, I did make that statue, so it makes sense that I can't. Yeah. Work. Yeah. <laughs> it's really meta. It's really meta, but... <laughs> um, Yon will say, well, uh, I'll, if you go to the to Lacrima's house, I'm... I'm gonna stay outside. I don't want to. I don't want to pay you for the visitation gift. And Rebob, Re uh, as he did a new spring, will say, yeah. "I'm not going to a witch's house." All right, that made our job easier. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, well, <laughs> I guess I guess when we would say to the, them both like. You know where we are if you if you run into any trouble. No, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep. I'll like wait for you, like close by. Says Yon, um, and um, Rebob will say, "I suppose I'll wait too." Uh, always first, he will ask, D -d -d "Should should I wait or should I come with?" The horse neighs, repeating the question in horse language. Uh, I go kind of signs like gestures for them to stay behind. Uh, always first he will nod, as will the horse. Yon will say, what? Well, those two are really obedient to you. Uh, Angel will just give him a look. The, the titular <laughs> look, trademark. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, Yon gives another look, whatever that may mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let's not and let's not start gazing. So we'll just kind of hear. <laughs> yeah, sparkles start flying. Shoujo music starts playing. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay. Um, well, Ashen, real quick, went um, BRB. Uh, so I'm basically I'm hesitating because Ashen is kind of invested in going to the witch. If I'm Ilona, rather. So, uh, what do we do until she gets back? I guess, um... um I guess Muna would say, look to Angel and say, um, oh, you know that statue that you, um, made for Alona? Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah! I'm like, he, like, he nods. <laughs> I was um, like, I don't have, like, the speaker to say what he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Muna would, um... <clears throat> Sort of, um, Mooney would look a little bit tense and they would say, like, maybe it would be a good idea to make a second just in case. Um, because I mean, I one may not be enough, um, for, for the witch, you know, how they can be. Uh, and he looks super confused, but then he's like, and and like a little suspicious too, yeah. And then he like nods slowly, and I, I think sort of... I think if it helps, Moonin is being genuine when they say that. That is like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I I mean I I think I get it, <laughs> but like yeah, I go okay. wouldn't. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, I guess other than that, um, would uh, Angel do so? I suppose. Yeah. Is carving another one. Are you using your stunt or just carving a typical thing? Using the stunt, yes. Sure. Uh, do you have anything in mind for what you would like to carve? Uh, we carved. Uh, what was the name of the thing? A Norok. Uh, mm, cool. Uh, mm. The to be fair, the inspiration came because. Ashen wanted something animal related. Yeah. Right. So feel, feel free to talk in character about what Angel should carve, by the way. Yeah. Um, Muna would ask, uh, do you have anything 
Do you have any inspiration? Uh, not really. Hmm. Well, my my first sort of animal that comes to mind, if you are going to carve an animal, is um, I mean, and Amuna would like like show off their clothes a little bit, and they'd be like, ah, ah, like a crow. What? <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't go ah ah like a crow, what? but yeah. Welcome back, Ocean. Oh my goodness, Ocean. Welcome back. We're currently um, discussing what Angyo should carve. Yeah. Feel free to pitch in as Ilona, of course. Hmm. I feel like, uh, um, like a bloodhound or something. Like a hunting dog, because we're such good at hunting, you see Ooh. Oh. I like that. Okay. Angyo cocks his head and is like, okay, like considering, and then he. I guess starts on that. Woo! Oh yeah. And again, you're <laughs> using your stunt, correct? Yeah. Okay. Then with cartoon logic, once again, Angio turns his back. Uh, fit like you <laughs> see his his arms moving. Smoke comes up, uh, <laughs> cartoon style. Five seconds Aww. later, he turns back to the group with a absolutely magnificent carving of, I suppose, a hunting dog. Ooh. <laughs> looks good. It's so funny to imagine it every time. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's funnier that Angyo sees no issue with it, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's how it works. Of course. <laughs> and sometimes it takes him like hours or days to carve a thing. Sometimes it takes him five seconds. It's just how it works. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes he has, you know, the muse and Sometimes, no. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, yeah, you now have this carving as well. Cool. Uh, do you guys proceed to Lacrima the Witch? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, very well. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. Uh, to also put the token on screen and all of that good stuff. So... You approach uh, the house. What do you do? Uh, the door is closed, obviously. Uh, Muna would look to Elona and be like, it's your witch. Um, Elona would like, kind of like take a deep breath and just like gather herself for meeting the witch. And then she would like go up onto the door and knock uh, respectfully. I... I don't have your carving yet. Go away. What? Carving? She must Not carving. Think. Oh no, what if she's a carver and then she doesn't need our carving? Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. It's, your, it's your stunt item, it'll work, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> um, Maybe she learned something from her. Yeah. Yeah. Elon would say, uh, we, we have a carving. Um, Who's this? My name is Elona, and I'm here with my friends. Well, that's Angela weird, and Moon. And, uh, Thank you. <laughs> uh, the door would uh, begin to sort of uh, slowly open as I go to... Um, I guess this music will work. Uh, yeah. And she reveals herself and sa and takes a good look at all of you and says, and like, after she takes a good look at you all, she like looks around the village, sort of confused and mildly concerned. You can assume that she, she thinks, oh shit, not, sl not slave people have arrived, have like the authorities come and killed everyone. That's probably mm -hmm. what she's thinking as she like looks around the village, but then sees other people, then looks at you lot very confused. Hi, um, we were wondering if you could help us in it in this change for like payment, of course. Um, I wasn't expecting customers from outside of uh, this little village, but all right, come in, come in. Thank you very much, Elon would say and step in. Moon and Moon would yeah. follow. Yeah, I'm going to. 
Hmm? Uh, you guys are immediately hit with a very strong smell of herbs uh, mixed with random bits of refuse and biological refuse too, I guess. Um, oh, man. Oh. Poop, I mean, if it wasn't yeah. obvious. Yeah, human? Okay. The poo -poo. Uh, no, animal. Animal. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess there's, that. I guess there's <laughs> that at least. Um, and once inside, very similar to um, the witch's hut from New Spring, although less fancy, for lack of a better term, even though that was that one was not fancy. As this, this is a hovel. Well, the other one was too, but... <laughs> uh, like, where the other one had, like, various objects that people from the city have gifted her, including some, like, precious metals and all that. This one is mostly, like, herbs, a lot of natural, for lack of a better term, ingredients that you can see everywhere, including a jar of what looks like cow dung, um, probably where the smell comes from, and... Small wooden carvings above board, nowhere as good as Angios, but there they are. Oh, wow. Um, Muni would pull their shirt up over their nose. No! She, and then, like, she takes a seat. She only has one chair, so fuck you, I guess, above board. <laughs> and pats the table that she's sitting on, as in sort of expecting something from you. Hello, and I would like present the carving that she has. Her eyes widen in shock and surprise. How did... Who... What? That's incredible. Uh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> Worth a lot. That will certainly cover the entry fee. Hmm. I'm gonna give oh, no, make, 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 make certain that it covers not only the visiting fee. Like, can you, can you tell her? Like, she kind of takes it as, like, only the fee for the visiting. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, he, um, I think you need to make it clear that it's for everything. <laughs> okay. Does Angle want to, com like, communicate this to Lona or... Oh, I Ilona think, doesn't I think, get it. I think Ilona would get it. You've, like, okay. bartered with shopkeepers and constantly witches, too. Mm. Uh, then Ilona would say, I think it's worth a bit more than just an entry fee. If you take a closer look uh, at it. Uh, fine, fine, fine. Uh, she, like, says that, but is, like, just staring at the little carving, clearly awestruck, uh, the power of Angel's stunt. <laughs> And she says, what remarkable detail. Uh, uh, I'll trade you a, char a jar of cow dung. Alona <laughs> 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 would not laugh, but she would be like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not interested in the cow dung right now. I have You're a not? bigger problem. It's good for the skin. I bet. Oh. Um, you have very nice skin. <laughs> Oh, I don't use it. I um, that's it's usually what uh, Cornell and Crangle want. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, good to know. They use cow dung. Not in the way I, you're thinking, I imagine. I, I don't know. Just smearing it on. Fair on enough. The, the Fair enough. Yeah, I I thought about it, but I didn't go. There. I thought that was that. But like, I thought that was why you were laughing, but I I don't know. I mean, you want to smell like cow dung? I, I wish them happiness. It's good for the skin, man. <laughs> yeah. We're laughing, but the witch is very, very serious. I'll say that. <laughs> like, when she offered you guys cow dung, she did it with the utmost sincerity. Okay. Fair enough. Magical cow dung. Um, mm. Ilona would say... No, it's just um, cow dung. Sorry, I'm I'm kidding. I'm I'm assuming you didn't say that. <laughs> well, Lona would say, um, I have this statue, and I think it's placed somewhat of a curse on me. Do, I do you show the cat a little carving. What? 
Do you show the carving of the cat uh, for context or? Yeah. But like I, I unveil it slowly so she's not like, <gasps> you know? Mm -hmm. Try to like uh, see her reaction before I like uncover it fully, you know? She frowns, pats her uh, her numerous pockets and spits on the ground and, uh, and grumbles should have warned me before coming in. I'm sorry. Mm. I don't know how to but get rid of this curse otherwise. Where did so you I get that? To... Um, another witch bewitched me and gave me the curse. Are you that dumb or did you steal this? <laughs> He's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait. One second. I'm just gonna look at my character sheet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> can I... Can I use, uh, must have been the wind? Okay. Wait. <laughs> and if I do that, can I, like, use it more... Then just for this, so like she thinks I'm a saint basically, can do nothing wrong, and she would be willing to help me more. Mm, Does that make sense? Not really, because the wording on the stunt is being acquitted, and that okay. and like I can't acquit you preemptively. All right, then I'll save it. But uh, but you can. It's only once though. Like you can only use it once. Once per session, uh, but mm -hmm. hy hypothetically, let's say because the the wording of the stunt does say acquitted uh, entirely. Hypothetically, let's say the witch says, "Oh, you're a thief! I'm gonna kill you!" and um, then Ilona trashes her entire house and beats the crap out of her. Then uses the stunt. The witch will say, oh, "Okay, it wasn't your fault." All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hypo in yeah. this super hypothetical scenario, yes, you can you can push the stunt to its limits, but again, not preemptively. But only after everything. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'll save it. Okay. Um, Elona would say, "Well, it ended up in my pocket somehow." Give me a sneaky. <laughs> Very I'm not lying. Like, it ended up in my pocket. Oh, fuck. She got a six, you got a four. Okay. Do you know the thing when, like... Go ahead. You, you kind of kick, kick the ground and look down at the ground, like, well, it ended up in my pocket somehow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of guilty. Uh, we're leaving the roll of that, then? Yeah. Okay. And... She, grum she grumbles and says, I don't want to get involved in another witch's vengeance. It's bad manners. Um, and I don't want, okay, I don't want the, the curse, curse to be passed on to me. <sighs> Is there no way to like remove the curse entirely? So it's not passed on? I mean, there is, but... She's clearly hesitating. He says, oh. that kind of thing points at your, ca your cat uh, thingy. Those are very rare and hard to make, you know? It would be an incredible waste to just decurse it. Hmm. Don't well, you want to just you... keep it and maybe use it to your advantage, I guess? How do I use it to my advantage? In plenty of situations where a cat's not suspicious, but a human is. I have uh, experienced be being a cat, but I lack control. I'm just oh, you'll climbing get that. trees. You'll get that. You'll, you'll, you can get that in time, uh, unless the witch specifically put a curse on the thing. I feel like Moonin might pipe up if it's that, if that's okay, and just say, um, "I, f I feel like that might be the case. Is there any way that you can sort of check the grade of spell attached to this thing?" 
Bring it to my face, she asks Ilona, but keep holding it. I'm not going to touch it directly. Ilona will hold it and bring it to her face. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can compel you, Ashen. <laughs> can I compel your experienced risk taker that you're gonna like shove it in her face? Not to like hurt her, but like to make her touch it? No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take away one of your fate points. So, uh, you do you do that, uh, and she like inspects the thing up close, taking very great care not to touch it. Um, and she says, "She says, think the witch who made this is dead." Oh. Oh. Huh. Well, what oh. makes you think? Well, I guess. What? I mean, she was at the place where everything burned down. So, so uh, it doesn't make I, sense. <laughs> I guess that's true. Moon would ask, how can you know for certain? I have my ways and I can tell. I don't have to explain my magic to you. Angel looks down at the ground. <laughs> she also like, kicked the ground and like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. On the inside. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, so what does I, that mean? So I don't think in regards to your particular issue that she was... When did you steal this compared to when she died? Like, mm. time-wise. How much time passed? Before she died? I don't it wasn't know. very long, was it? I didn't know that she she died, but we met um, her pretty recently. If above board, if you assume that uh, she died in the like giant wolf attack, um, Ilona stole the statue at like say five p.m. The giant wolf attack happened at like midnight. If that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Seven hours. Hmm? Ilona would say like m maybe within a day. I don't know. I did hear about something happening back there. Mm. Well, if you're lucky, she didn't notice the theft. This doesn't seem cursed at first glance, though you can never retell really of these things. Was it one of the fancy city witches or someone like me? Mm. Someone like you. Um, can I get a sneaky from you, Moonen? Because you're lying. Am I lying? Sorry. I oh, know. she's a fancy city witch? She was in the city. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I was wondering, but like her hovel looked really bad. Compared to this, <laughs> looks much better. Okay. In that, in that case, can I take it back? Because sure. I didn't realize... Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in that case, Moonin would say uh, a city witch. Yeah. Uh, those, those are cautious. They get more thieves. Places like these, like villages, everyone knows each other. You don't, you don't steal without other people knowing. Mm. Uh, above board, I'm going to roll a dice to see if the item was cursed or not, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, right. at, at eight. An eight. Uh, the higher the number, the better for you guys. Uh, so the witch will say... She realized that you took it and was in the middle of cursing it while when she died. So there's a bit of a curse on it. Oh. It's not too good. No. But a weaker curse would be easier to break, wouldn't it? Mm. True enough. I can break this weaker curse and... Well, you have two options. I can either dispel this item's magic entirely, which would be a gigantic waste. She emphasizes that. Or I can just remove this little curse, which would should allow you to have a bit more control. Elona's eyes would light up and be like, yes, I, I would like that. A Actually, bit more does not mean, a bit more control does not mean full control. That will take time. Mm. Mm. If I leave it with you for no, some time? No, you're not going to leave this with me. Hmm. 
Well. <laughs> Can I wait here while you do it, and you you make it really? Um, more well, you're gonna to hold use. it. You're gonna hold it while I cast the spell. I'm not touching it. And it's what not just happened? It became a robot. Uh, maybe my internet farted. Can you guys hear me? Suppose not. Is it just me or is Turner a robot? Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Oh shit. That's fun. Uh... Hmm. Okie dokie. Okay, welcome back everyone. Discord fucked up. I don't remember like the exact point where we uh, left off. Uh, you guys were, uh, me and, well, the witch and Ilona were talking about her cat thingy. Alright, and she was inspecting it. Okay, and she gave you the options of uh, either getting rid of its power entirely, which she did not like, or just getting rid of the curse part allowing you to potentially use it in the future yes i love that i want to control it yeah you said like it was in full control which was um yeah not in not immediately like it'll take you a while to get set full full control make sense mm -hmm. okay uh so um the witch will say well all right and I'm assuming points at the Auroch carving. That's your payment. What did you say? What? She points at the Auroch carving uh, and she asks, that's your payment, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot for a second when an Auroch was, so I was like, what, yeah. what is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anurukai from Mordor or whatever, sounds similar. Uh, anyway, she... Extends a hand as if to take it. Mm. Lona would put it in her hand? She takes it and says, Very well made. All right, let's begin immediately. You, points at, points at Ilona, sit there. She points to a spot on the floor uh, and, fi and, med and meditate on it, think on it for two hours. Alona would like slightly confused go and do you want the magic to work or not of, of course Go's I do sit in the corner and Alona would like plump <laughs> down on the floor just plonk it may or may not take less time than two hours depending on when the session ends let's say for yeah. comedy's sake she actually says that <laughs> okay <laughs> breaking the, the fourth wall, wall. <laughs> wow <laughs> looks straight into the camera yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Not a sound from you. All right. I'll and come and cut. I'll come and cast my magic on it when I'm ready. All right. She nods again. Okay. Above board, dear viewers, that uh, all of that is happening because Ashen has to leave. So, uh, no. Ashen, could you please uh, talk about yourself and what you're doing before you go? Yeah, I'm Ash, and you can find me on Instagram, where I do some art stuff. If you're into art, crafts, and whatever shit like that. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yes, that's what she does, and she's great at it. I uh, highly recommend her stuff. Me thank too. you. Thank you also, Ashen, for uh, playing with us. Uh, we'll take Ilona out from the naughty corner, I guess that's the expression, <laughs> uh, <laughs> at the start of the next session. Whether that means it's been like two hours, as the witch said, or like five minutes, it will be that long. Okay. All right. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you, Ashen, and we'll see you all next. See you next time. Yeah. Good luck with the rest <clears throat> of the session. See ya. Bye. -bye. See you, Bye. Good night. Night. Okay. Uh, going back to the matter at hand, after the witch uh, indicates where Ilona should go. She turns to you and says, "And says, I don't need you for the decursing of that statue, unless you touched it directly." I, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I did. Did, did you, Angel? Uh, Angel shakes his head. Mm. Right, no, um, uh, actually, um, 
Funny you mentioned that. We have other business uh, with you as well. Anga looks at him like, what? Well, I'm always open. Go on. Um, Munin would... <clears throat> um, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, Munin would ponder for a minute, and they would say, um, we have been admiring your collection of ingredients and, and for spells and, and potions. If you just want a jar of dung, I can sell it to you. Mm, nah, we, we've you know, got cow, plenty cow, of... Cows are pretty rare in these parts. Most people here, like, raise sheep and, and, po and pig. It's, it's, it's okay. We've... If we you, have plenty. If you, want, if you want to get cow, you have to go over the hills over to uh, St. Parrots. It's a long way. Do you know how difficult it was to get this cow dung? It's good stuff. Uh, I can I can imagine, but it's okay. We have uh, we we have more than enough cow dung. Um, in you fact, I, I, I can buy. I, I'd like to buy it from you if you do. Uh, no, it's okay. We actually need it for something else. Uh, speaking of which. I was wondering if you had any parts of the severed fingers uh, in the okay, ear, maybe? I was just leading off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without any explanation, sure. What's the, like, I guess, expression on Moonen's face? Like, um, you know, when you're browsing a, a store and you're like, um, hmm, I, I th oh, that looks nice. Okay. Yes. Like, okay. 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 But, like very almost casual, let's say. Yeah. Like window shopping. Mm -hmm. Her like eyes narrow at you and she says, what would you need that for? Um, my friend and I, uh, I mean, well, isn't it obvious? And then Moonin would, um, Moonin would show off their severed pinky finger and they would say, <laughs> I was looking into treatments for re restoring this. Um, no, you can't yeah. restore that. Not with witchcraft. Uh, I, but I can curse the one who took it from you. That's okay. I'm pretty sure the one who took it from me is probably dead anyway. Mm. So no, no. Words, you want a finger from someone else to put on there? Okay. Yeah. Somehow that does not surprise me. You you both seem very well. Not both. All three of you seem very capable. Hmm. I would like to think so, wouldn't you, Ango? Ango shrugs. <clears throat> she looks at Angel and like nods to herself, making a note of something. Above, above board, uh, if you remember, uh, back when you visited the witch in New Spring, uh, there was a big deal about not revealing your names. Oh. Oh fuck! Did you just say my name? <laughs> I mean, I think uh, you've only said all our names before. Yeah. To be honest, when we, when we began, yeah. <laughs> and we're stupid. I don't oh, well. remember that being uh, super honest, but sure. Yeah. Well. Muna would ask, so do you have any th uh, any parts, spare parts? I mean, it's not really... And again, I ask, what do you need it for? Your Witchcraft cannot restore your missing finger. Well, mm, witchcraft may not be able to, but I have uh, a few experimental means to um, sort of restore my finger. And any other parts... So that you may have. Uh, I am a source. It, would Moonin know the word sorcerer? Sure. Um, but above or, board, um, in the Rima language, it has less of a connotation of a spellcaster and more of like a almost a fantastical creature that's human and casts spells, but is like fantastical, like you'd hear in a story. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe that's not what Moon is trying to say. I feel like fun. I feel like Moon would say like, "Oh, I am a wizard," but like in the D and D kind of sense, which obviously makes sense because which would it would be the same term. Yeah, yeah. In that case, Moon would say, "Oh, I'm sort of a wizard of, of um, I'm a I'm a book worm, a wizard, I guess." 
What's the expression on your face? Again, I ask. <laughs> um, maybe if um, the witch really tried, was really paying attention, she would see that Moonin is like, mm, not so sure about what they're saying. It might be. It might have something to do with hmm. a language barrier, maybe. Almost certainly, yeah. Um, above board. <laughs> D and D is notoriously difficult to translate into Romanian above board because we only have so many words for magic and sorcerers, but English oh, cool. has a lot. Yeah, uh, I can imagine. So when noticing your expression, she says, "You have. I'm not sure if you're, if I should kill you or if you have no idea what you're saying." <clears throat> uh, I guess. Truthfully, hmm. well, please refrain from killing me, I suppose. Um, Arna takes a step away from it. Are you, uh, are you a sorcerer no. too, Angel? Unlike Moon, and you would be aware of the connotation of being a sorcerer. No, she says <laughs> emphatically. Mm -hmm. I guess Moon would backtrack and say, ah, uh, uh, to tell you the truth, um, the these this the the people of the the village um they sort of see me as kind of some important figure and i have been important how what's your name my name is woden can i get i guess a sneaky no fair here? no yes. fair <laughs> Oh, that's actually a really... That's above average for me. Ooh, but wow. you tied. Okay. Tie, this is technically an overcome roll. Tie on an overcome means either you succeed or you fail at a negative cost. Not with... Fail or succeed at a negative cost. I mixed that up. Um, Let's I go would, with succeed. Why not? Yeah, at I would err on succeed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With the negative cost. Okay, then let me think a bit. What would the negative cost be? It is a bit weird, lore-wise, that Moonin would use... Or do, do people not know that, actually? I don't know. Mm, well, what now? Um, the, Wod the name Woden? It's a bit weird that Moonin would use that name, in hindsight. Angel would have no idea what that name means. Ilona might, depending on her education and interest in ancient mythology, but debatable. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, so oh, they have the same mythology? No. Uh, they don't. It also has personal meaning, Spoonin. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Hmm. What is the thing? Well, hmm. Maybe. Uh, maybe you like. As you're like fidgeting with your hands, uh, telling this lie, um, you accidentally touch something in the witch's hut. Oh no. <laughs> what did I touch? Uh, Moonin would, uh, Moonin would go, oh, oh uh, sorry, um, <clears throat> as we were saying. Let me think, what do you touch? Because that's a very good question. Like, um, <laughs> not something I prepared beforehand. Um... Probably some enchanted cow dung, I guess. <laughs> okay, you're gonna oh. have very smooth fingers. Well, <laughs> cow dung can be used for many, many things. Let's okay, put it like I guess that. not. Oh, <laughs> um, Moon would like, oh, like that. Like, that so of... Watch what you're touching. That. Do you know how long I've worked on that? Oh, I dread to think. <clears throat> and Moon would like. <laughs> Begin, begin to look a little bit green, and they would say, uh, uh, "Do you have anything to, uh, Angel?" Like <laughs> they would like hold out their hand. <laughs> Walks away hurriedly before you can wipe it on him. Something. Uh, like please, <laughs> can I message you something? Yeah, of course. In the meantime, while you're messaging me, Moonin would look to the witch and say, "Like, oh, could you?" <laughs> <laughs> Why must it always come to that? 
<laughs> when would look to the witch and say, oh, can you sort that? Can you help me with this? And they would like hold out their hand. Um, but obviously, if there's if the witch was looking, maybe uh, thoughts to her. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> Moon would be like, "Can you help me with this?" And they would go, <clears throat> "Hmm," uh, and they would look down, <laughs> and they would like use their cloak to like cover themselves a bit, maybe. I'm not the, interested. Um... If that's what you're asking. <clears throat> Uh, 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 Mooney would like see if there's anywhere that they can sit down. No, to like uh, other than the floor. Okay, maybe they would sit on the floor because they're that embarrassed. And, and they like remove their cloak and like put it in, on their lap, and they would say like, <clears throat> "None of you saw that, uh... right?" <laughs> she says nothing, but she says nothing because she expected this to happen. Oh no. Anga just has his eyebrows raised. Well, very yeah. high. Uh, the reason I'm not telling you anything show and tell is because I, I think I gathered. <laughs> I also don't think you can see from your angle. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So Anga really does look confused in this. Yeah. Well, Moon and Woods pretend like nothing is happening. <laughs> <laughs> and they would I say, wish Ashen um, were here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these things keep on happening when she's not here. It's like yeah. a curse or something. Oh my god, it's the curse of the... That really is the curse of the cat, or whatever. The cat statue. <laughs> um, Let, let's... Obviously, Ash and Ken retcon this later. But let's say you, you, Moon and you see Lona trying desperately to hold back a laugh because she was told not to say a word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Very, that's very in character. <laughs> Moon would like, I think, begin to go red a little bit, and they would say like, "How long is this gonna last?" <laughs> she sighs and uh -huh. and says, "Customer, uh, not cl uh, client. What's the word for like confidentiality?" The thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, client confidentiality. Yeah, client confidentiality. That's more as what she says, but in like a, a like more rustic way, I guess. Okay. Moon would sigh. Um, ugh, why does this always happen to us? <laughs> um, and they would uh, say, well, and then they would start wiping their hand like on the ground to like clean it. And they would say, um, S so. <sighs> just to, just to I, be clear, um, it won't go away even if you're done. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, that's, how do I get rid of this thing then? Two hours. Oh, wow. Two, <laughs> two hours? The client um, was very particular. Oh, and this client. <sighs> I'm not, t I'm not saying who it is <laughs> unless you pay me. Pay you. <laughs> Pay you, pay you with what exactly? Well, what do you have? Well, um, I suppose in regard to our original transaction, um, we like like we said, we were looking for human parts. So maybe in exchange for human parts and for helping me out with <laughs> this, um, Angel. I can't help you out with that. You just have to wait it out. As for the human parts, again, I ask, why do you need them? Yeah, Anger also hasn't caught on, so he's just looking like, what the hell do you want? Mm. I, I think Angel can tell at the very least that Moon looks uncomfortable, like physically uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that, sure, yeah. You can tell that, but he doesn't know what, what Moon wants with the human parts. He's yeah. Also confused um. Obviously, I know. Moonin knows. But rather than repeating, hmm. Well, um. I, well, TLDR. Um, just to reiterate some things. The reason, 
She's asking because what you're proposing likely is some very dark magic. Okay. Like mm -hmm. what you're insinuating, rather, if that makes sense. Not the regrowing your limbs part, because she said witchcraft cannot fix that, but rather what else can be used with, like, body parts. Sure. Um, I guess Mune would ask... Well, to be... To be perfectly candid, I suppose, what is... How would you describe your relationship with the village uh, nearby? As long as they pay me, I'm happy. Hmm. So, no... Uh, I'm just I'm just noting that Acacius might be listening. Hmm, true. Well... Ah... <sighs> I suppose your client confidentiality is, um, we or where we work in, with the same level of expertise or professionalism. Um, just I cannot really if, disclose. If you, if you're implying what I think you're implying, then you should know that even aiding in such magic would be would taint me. Mm. Well, <clears throat> above, above board, I, I don't think the two of you have the same idea. No. Yeah, not at all. And Angel, at, at this point, is not going to pay for anything. Like, yeah. Well, who, well, has, who has the carving? Because maybe it's not an Angel's power to pay, I guess. Uh, I think Angel would. Ah, never mind. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? The Angel, carving was like... in, with Angel. Yeah. Okay, fair enough, Good. fair enough. Did you give it any? Uh, I was wondering <laughs> if Angel gave it to anyone else before. No, he didn't. Because yeah. he didn't know what it was for. Yeah. Well, Moonen would ask... <clears throat> um, well, Moonen would sort of try and reassure the witch and say, well, to, to tell you the truth, I was uh, appealing to your sort of... Um, uh, your profession or your interest in, in your profession in magic. This, <laughs> to tell you the this truth... This isn't the... your profession, this is my life. Right. Well, I was trying to appeal to your... Um, I was trying to try and appeal to you. Um, in all honesty, this, these parts, they're, they're for boring masses they're not really for they're not actually made for magic um or sort of be being used for magic um and you can you can use a d lie detector so spell on me so you just assumed i was a practitioner of the of black magic mm, mm, well i think more so i i overestimate or like i misjudged um the severity of um, something so, so severe as black magic, um, and for that I can only apologize. What I ro what I just rolled is a sneaky. Okay. Okay. Is it, is, uh, it some, is it something that we should oppose? Do you think, or up to you? Yeah, probably we should try. I guess. With the uh, careful. I think I have uh, much chance of that. Um, oh, that was oh, really good. Cool. That was very good. Oh, not quite interesting. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll add on to it then. Wait. Yeah. For Moon, in, uh, for Moon in, it hurts too much to think. <laughs> uh, I think... Uh, wait, I just need to open my thing. My thing. Uh... What are we trying to do to to catch her at doing something? She's hiding something. The yeah. careful is to see whether you can figure out what. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I have anything to work with. I would look, but I don't actually... Oh, no, I can... Yes, I do. I was going to say I don't have your character sheet. To help you out, but oh, actually, honestly, I, I saw something. Uh, oh no, that was Moon, and never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, and I, I also saw something for Angel that if I were in Show and Tell's boots, I could use, but I'm not telling. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Anxious and distrustful, maybe? Oh, distrustful. Yeah, distrustful works. Hmm? Right? Yep. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Are you using it yeah, to give yourself fair. plus two? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? You can... I just closed it like an idiot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, um, either way, with a seven to her six, you can tell that she wants to steer uh, the conversation away from this subject, but you can tell that probably not just because of the like black magic discussion, although that's certainly part of it, but rather she almost certainly has those in body parts that you're looking for. Okay. And from your role, you can probably tell that she probably is keeping them for use in an emergency, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> she can she can use black magic, uh, but she would rather not unless it's an absolute emergency, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. I just had a thought that we could steal them, but probably Ilona would have to do it. Yeah, and, um, uh, I feel like they could be, as soon as the witch finds that she her, her stuff is stolen, she could probably remotely, like... like yeah, her. it's like the, yeah. the same thing that we ended up with, with a cat. <laughs> like, it's doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. And stealing body parts is um, much more curseable than a simple cat carving, let's say. Yeah. Oh boy. But we're not going to use this, the body part to, for too long. We're just going to be like, hey, here it is. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you think. Well, uh, again, just to reiterate, Angel is aware that the witch is lying, Moonen is not. Okay. Yeah. But I'm going to just know what the body parts are for. I'm trying to think, is it like a very obvious? Not particularly. Like, Moonin really hasn't um, disclosed. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm going to just know that Moonin is really trying to help you see this or something. Not, probably not at this point. But I guess Moonin would turn to Angel and say, almost breaking the fourth wall, Moonin would turn to Angel and say, like, Oh, uh, like oh, this um, <clears throat> this we, we we've been uh, entrusted to help the village. Like this is um, like haven't we um, like haven't we, Angel? Like we need we we need this um, we need these parts to um, for in, for urgent business that is confidential. Can I get your sneaky? Because the witch is also in this conversation, even if you're addressing Angel. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and Angel doesn't really get it either. Oh wow, the witch Ooh. rolled awfully. Oh <laughs> damn. It's a tie once again. So again Oh no, another fail or succeed at a negative cost. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, let's go on. Oh. Let's do it. Succeed at a negative negative cost. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably gonna be like you accidentally touched something again, but I need to be a little bit original, I guess. I loved your phrasing as well in the DM that you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> but just to put that out there. Sure. Um, <laughs> okay. This is uh, slightly uh. disgusting, but I think it works. Uh, <laughs> how... Uh, Moonin, not Moonin, Delhi. Describe to me what does Moonin do that would lead to them accidentally touching something again? Um. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe they're just being really clumsy. Like, like they they. Oh, do you know what they would like? Sort of. They get a little bit passionate with their speech of like, oh, the client confidentiality. This is really important. And they would go to stand up and then remember, oh shit. Mm -hmm. And then they would, as they go to sit back down, they like brush their hand against something else. Let's say a, Let diff me... a different branch of dung, for the sake of it, because <laughs> that's in character, um, I guess. And I'll message you what happens, Deli. 
Oh no. A poor Munin. He's going through it. They're going through it. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Moonie would she touch the dung. Face mm -hmm. palms and sighs because she knows what's happening. Yeah. Moonie would, as Moonin had touched the dung, they would like, oh, like immediately, like, would wipe it on the ground and be like, oh, why'd you keep this? What, have you never it's heard of powerful, containers? It's powerful. As you can tell, it's very powerful. Yeah, not for. Oh. <laughs> Moonie would, like, start, like, like, I don't know if you can hear this, like, no, probably not. <laughs> they would like they're like wiping their lap basically and being like, "Oh, this is horrible." <laughs> two hours. Two, two hours I for don't both. Know they, they're anymore. meant to be used together. What do you want me to to, to say? Oh my god! This is <laughs> in his like. I don't know what's happening. Moon in his well, like. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> I think we can tell you after the recording is done, Sean, so it's a bit sure. too much for me to say out loud on the record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moon would, like, probably shuffle around to, so that they're facing the exit of the tent, and they would say, like, oh, Angel, like, please, can you just, <laughs> can you just, like, uh, does Angel, finalize does this Angel deal? Does Angel see what's going on with now Moon facing him? I'm face, I, I'm face yeah. palming in real life, by the way. I guess I don't know what's going on though at this point. So <laughs> I don't know what Angel knows. <laughs> Mo Moonin is Anymore. what's going on visible, like from the way you're handling yourself. I guess so. I mean, I think I got part of it. But <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, to put it briefly, show until you see a very prominent pr protrusion from uh, Moonin's mm -hmm. pants and sure. a wet spot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to handle this. <laughs> I don't think Angel would know either. Yeah. Angel, can you please just get what we need so that we can leave? Uh, an ear would do, even. We don't need a finger, just anything. What I... do you do? <sighs> just sit back down, calm down, just wash your, wash your clothes after it goes away. Calm down. Tell me what you need it for already. This is the witch speaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Moonin would happily... Uh, Moonin would sign to Angel. <laughs> can't say too much. He is listening. Yeah, is he not listening to the thoughts, though? I really wish Ashen mm -hmm. were here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, to answer your question, yes. But... Moonen has the benefit of the doubt, potentially, with, okay. Kes with the Cassius. It's like, oh, yeah, ears are listening. Maybe they're talking about um, something else. <laughs> sure. Okay, but I don't know what Angel makes of that. It's like, okay. So he should just, like, trust in Moonin, and that's kind of problematic for her. Yeah. yeah. Well. Mm, seeing that Angel's a little bit, like, cautious, Moonin would carry on and say, like, oh. Look, uh, we just need these parts... Because a fr someone in the village, I mean, calm we've, down, we deep breaths. <laughs> yeah, I I think like although it's like IRL me like trying to think of what to say. I think it makes sense that Moon. Yeah, it, 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 it makes sense for Moon to panic. It, it, yeah. it sounds it sounds authentic. Yeah, Moon would, would take a deep breath and they would ask. Uh, someone in the village, um, who will not be named, has requested that we um, acquire some parts from yourself. Um, from as well, I suppose from anyone really, but they would be of quality parts from someone like yourself, surely. 
I mean, you you more than anyone in this village would probably know how to preserve a body. Or at least body parts. Uh, can so, I? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What were you going to ask? Uh, that you roll sneaky. Be and she's definitely going to roll careful because... Like, the idea that there's someone in the village pra practicing black magic is very disturbing. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, sure, okay. Oof. Ouch. You know, so, when, you know when you're in that state, you're really not a good liar. As mm -hmm. I said, sit down, calm down, tell me the truth, or I can't help you. Okay. Moonin would probably think for a minute and they would say a person within the village has gone missing and I suspect that they, in fact I know that they're dead but okay. without proof without proof no one will cease searching for them so and you can't get the proof from the actual body well i the body is well the body is beyond recognition <clears throat> excuse me the body is beyond recognition so any kind of body part that we retrieve so how do you know it's it's him pardon how do you know it's him if it's beyond recognition <laughs> True, but then oh. Moonin, Moonin would probably purposefully ignore that. <laughs> okay, sure. Go for it. I'm just trying to think guess, of what Akash yeah. is thinking here in this. True. Um, I guess Moonin would say uh, the the evidence is insurmountable, but the they are more or less beyond what is considered to be. Uh, intact body i guess i don't know that doesn't really make sense but you know what i'm trying to say can i, I mean there was fire so it makes sense that the body would be i guess but but it doesn't really explain how you know so suddenly um, but sure yeah uh, bobo this is probably the most believable lie you've told but i will still require sneaky from you <laughs> okay <laughs> oof <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> it's mathematically impossible for you to beat that with just one fate point. Okay. Because your what, highest roll is a six. Okay. I'm sorry. And I, um, I, I do feel bad because this is genuinely believable. And, but... Then, so, yeah. it's kind of close to the truth, too. But obviously it's not, it's not the truth, and that's the trouble. Yeah. Um, can I... Let me see my own... Uh, if you're Cause... planning to use your stunt, it has to be after. And for yeah. a different lie. Yeah. No, I was going to say, I can be invoked for a, a compel, can't I? This is a really roundabout way of probably getting to the same place. Oh, okay. So you want... You want you... to be compelled? Yeah, you want yeah. to be compelled to accumulate fate points to beat her role. Okay. Yeah. Oh, All God. Right. Well, I'm not going to compel you. <laughs> Well, maybe, oh, maybe, uh, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will, but maybe, maybe for something very stupid. Uh, to be fair, you can also compel yourself, Moon, into like auto generate a fate point. But I'll be the oh, judge. Really? That's the thing. Yeah, I, I think this is like the fifth time I've told you guys. Uh, really, I don't remember. It seems like it doesn't seem like a real <laughs> rule, but like. <laughs> Obviously, it's got to be because if it's in the rule book. Yes, but I'll be stringent. Like in the other campaigns, sometimes they've. They've done it sometimes, and usually I accept it, but sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know, I take like an extra drink at the bar, and I'm like, eh, that's not a really something that's worth a fake point. Right. So um, I'll be, I'll be yeah. the judge of whether that you are worthy of it. And I guess I'll also, I'll also look at your aspects. Maybe there is something really stupid I can compel. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Um... Can I compel myself to hmm. 
Can I? <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Can I compel myself to? Does the placebo effect? Uh, is that real? In well, no, actually, no. It works even without the placebo. Can I? Can I compel myself to like touch another like magical item? Well, what and the reason are you, are you compelling? Uh, is distrusting and secretive because if there Moonin doesn't this is a bit of a stretch Moonin, Moonin doesn't believe that the witch wouldn't have an antidote just laying about so Moonin is going to touch something to make them to, as a, in hopes that it's an antidote does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, and on, honestly enough, it was also something I was considering compelling you for. <laughs> <laughs> you need to, another effect now. Yes, yeah. from I, something. Uh, I it will be a, another uh, a lovely, lovely effect. <laughs> <laughs> I was too afraid to compel, honestly, because I knew it would have to be something nasty. <laughs> Not yeah. necessarily. It's just a, a context. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> can you can Angel compel me to do something based on what happens after well, I've touched the thing? Um, first off, let's see what happens when you touch this thing, I guess. Okay. So we're going through with this compel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as you fiddle about in a desperate search for a solution, you once again touch a different jar of cow dung, because that's the baseline ingredient. The only thing she has here. <laughs> I don't know she has a bunch of other things, but that's the most, like, out in the open thing. Um, and... <laughs> you... How can I... Jesus Christ, how, how can I even say this? How can I Beca say this? Because they're... Mm. You've... Mm. You've touched huh. jars that were intended for the for the giver. Now you're going to touch a jar that's intended for the receiver as you immediately vacate all of your bowels. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> well, is, the, is the choice of words there? <laughs> okay. Uh. That's really you see funny. things differently. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish Dookie. Ashen were here. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, as minions shits themselves, they would <laughs> they would begin to speak and they would say, "I," uh, uh, and then obviously you could probably hear what's happening, and they would say like. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're probably a bit speechless I think she is speechless at this point she says three times three times are you serious I'm gonna touch I'm gonna charge you for all of that you know that no, he doesn't want to be here anymore <laughs> yes, he's now, edging toward the <laughs> now there's a different type of dung that you can smell yes yeah this is the lowest point this is Moonin's lowest point, I think. Probably. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> well, in, in that case, can I... Um, oh, uh, Angel, you... Uh, you, you exit the, the room? No, he just edges. Okay, okay. Cord. Can, can I get he a... does what? <laughs> Shut up, Deli. Can I get a careful to see if you notice something? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's a very mm. good careful. Behind... <laughs> behind Ilona, who is desperately trying to stifle a giggle, but what she'll succeed because I don't want to sabotage Ashen's attempt at curing herself. Behind Ilona, you see a chicken peeking out, and oh. it seems to be holding parchment and a quill, and is... Like, the same way Angel magically creates uh, sculptures, it seems to magically create a very accurate drawing of what's happening. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. 
<laughs> this can't be immortalized in parchment. <laughs> I don't want this. Well, I, I mean, mean Moonin shouldn't be touching shit that isn't theirs, I guess. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> really shouldn't. I guess that's the message. Yeah. Uh, don't well, touch any. Lesson. Now, just because we are still in the middle of a roll, because you've, yeah. you've done this in an attempt to accumulate fate points to improve your roll, are we doing another compel so that you can have more fate points? Or are you going to try your luck with just two? Uh, I would uh, like to do another, but I don't know what it could be in terms I'm of... I'm trying um, to think. I'm also out of ideas for the cow dung thing above board. <laughs> Maybe you can slip on it. I can slip? Well, I can slip? Well, well, you yeah. have to relate it to an aspect of Moonin's. Oh, right. I'm okay. forgetting that. Um, oh, he has a keen... Uh, they have a keen sense of smell. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. It's all my fault too. <laughs> well, this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna try my luck because, uh, to be fair, I don't really think I can't really think of anything else. Um. So I think I'm going to try my luck. So the first thing, um, I can't even remember what I was originally saying because I'm just covered in shit and vomit and and <laughs> something else that... Anyway. Um, oh, something yeah, else that I mean, Susan Wojcicki wouldn't <laughs> like. Um, so for my first thing, I'd like to re-roll. And my aspect that I'm invoking. Well, well, wait, wait, is... wait, 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 wait. Uh, aren't aren't we? Weren't you going to be compelled so that you can have another fate point? I was, but I can't think of anything. So I'll just, wasn't uh, show and tell going to compel you? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking. Um, Sorry, show and tell. I, I don't know. Like, I, obviously, I don't have any good ideas. But the sense of smell is definitely. Relevant, I'll say that much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How could it be incorporated, though? Maybe they lose consciousness for a few moments. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> From how bad it is. I think that yeah. is acceptable. <laughs> awesome. Is it acceptable for Delhi? Uh, yeah. So yes, no, that makes so much sense. Actually, yes. Now, the more I think about it, so narrative-wise, uh, feeling just you're feeling physically ill from multiple mm, points of view, and the sense of smell is just so overwhelming that your sense of smell, because it's so acute, you feel just so overwhelmed that I guess you just pass out. Yes, and to add insult to injury in your own mess. <laughs> That's just oh, so sad. It is. The... It's kind of... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. It's pathetic, is what I was going to say. On the potentially positive side, let's see if your lie is believed. <laughs> okay. Um... So uh, you have a 2 to her 7. Mathematically, the highest roll you can get with a reroll is a 6. Okay. If I do, yes. Okay. So I'm going to do re roll. Re roll. Um, so distrust, distrusting and secretive is the, is the first obvious aspect yeah. that I'd like to use. Sure. Let's see a re roll. Okay. I can't even remember. Was it sneaky? Yes. Okay. Mm. Wonderful. Worse than before. <laughs> before, yeah. you, before you could have used three fate points to give yourself three plus twos to beat it. Now you have to rely on a reroll. Yeah. Unless people compel you more. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I, w I wouldn't have gotten to a seven, though. Oh, no, you would. Oh, no. Because it was it would have gone to four, then six, then eight. Oh, my God. I'm a dumbass because I was looking at the zero and I was like, oh, well, that would be six. So I'd still have. Okay. I'm going to reroll. Oh, re that's too bad. I'm sorry. Oh, well. It's okay. I mean, it's my fault. Um, I'd like to re-roll, maybe... Invoking. Um, 
Yeah. Keeper of secrets? Definitely. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Sneaky. Free. Now Still not enough. You you can't beat it now, even with a reroll. After all of that. Unless you're compelled again, you, then you succeed. You either... <laughs> you're compelled again. And you either give yourself two plus twos, making it a tie, which is success at a negative cost, or you <laughs> do the reroll and plus two thing. But that's incredibly <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I wouldn't mind negatively costing... Um, obviously I'd need to be compelled to do yes, something. Yes, you would need to yeah. be compelled, and I'm out of ideas. Uh... I'm thinking. Uh... <laughs> I had one, but I'm not gonna do it. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> I guess... I'd like to compel myself to... <laughs> um... You also, you have to use an, a to use an aspect when you're compelling. Yeah. Yeah, it can't it can be the same aspect. Well, you can. You can compel the same aspect, for, but for different things. Mm -hmm. So you can't... I don't remember what you compel... Well, what Moon and compel Sense themselves. Of smell. Oh, right. Uh -oh. I, right, I was thinking yeah. about no, the that touching... Was, yeah. That was not Yeah, me. I was thinking about the touching random things. Never mind. But yeah. Yeah. Um... So yes, Chantel and then everyone else can still compel the sense of smell. It's just that it can't be moon and passes out. Well, it also that can't, already happened. Yeah, it also can't actually be because moon has already passed out. How do you pass out from passing mm -hmm. out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're passed out. What can happen to you when you're passed out? Uh... <laughs> Again, I had an idea, but I'm not gonna do it. It's too it's too much even for all this. Maybe the poo the cow poo can be a um a bath not a bath salt, what they call it a smelling salt. What? Like <laughs> it wakes them up. Yeah, you know it <laughs> well, well waking up is a positive. Compels have to be neutral or more negative. Well they don't have to be, but they're compelled I, because they're disadvantageous. Go ahead. Can I compel myself to throw up because I'm because my sense of smell is so good? Because my sense of smell is so good, I yes, can smell can. it. E yes, you even can. in my sleep, even in my sleep, and I can <laughs> I can throw up. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In for in for so, a penny, in for a fucking pound. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna puke everywhere. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is like surely this is some form of payment for the witch because she loves collecting shit. No, she's not. She does not look happy. She. Okay. I think when this and, happens, and, and you still have a negative cost though to deal with. <laughs> also, that. yeah. Also, that. <laughs> when that happens, I think the witch sighs and looks at you, Angelka, and and says, "You're cleaning that up." <laughs> <laughs> Tricks on you, Angel. <laughs> looks horrified. She can't yeah. do it. She's busy pointing at Ilona. I'm not doing it, and they're passed out, so they can't do it. Sorry, Angel. Right now? Well, well let's see what happens timeline-wise, I guess. So now that you have another faith point, Moon, in. Are, how are how are we resolving the role? Okay, so plus two um, aspect. Um, I've used distrusting, secretive, keeper of secrets. So maybe keen eyesight. I can use the right tone and inflection of my voice when I told the lie. Yes, okay. ba based on her body language. You're using um, that to give yourself plus two. Yeah, and then for the other plus two... You can't invoke the same aspect again. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that's fine. As... Mm -hmm. I've used three out of five, so... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I You have not used the small daggers one and the tomb of knowledge one. 
Um, yeah. Um, I can't even remember what I'm lying about again. Um, <laughs> at this point, I, I'm, I'm so I, covered I, in piss. I kind, of, I kind of can't too. Well, you're not covered in piss. At least that you're not covered in that. <laughs> well, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> you, um, you're covered guess... in something that will be more difficult to clean, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's so not fair. Yeah. Um. Well, you were lying about. Uh, was it was it the most believable lie that they told? Yes, like the... yes, it it was that. It, oh yeah, it was bec Oh yeah, it was because Moonin said, "Oh, we're we're looking for some." Yeah, but yeah, we mean yeah, exactly, exactly that, that lie, exactly. Yeah. So, Moonin maybe in their travels has dealings. Oh. Moonin is skilled with small daggers, so Moonin would know that cutting off a piece of the person that is dead is impossible because they they have they're skilled with small daggers, and even they know that it's impossible. Ah, oh, clever. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Cool. So you're giving yourself it's plus impossible? two. Impossible. So why why is that helpful? Like what? Because the lie is that body parts are irretrievable. Yeah, and oh, Moonin would, okay. would know that because they're skilled with daggers. Mm -hmm. Then how do you get the body parts through magic? You you wouldn't. We're we're like getting fake. We're getting body parts and faking some. Yeah, how death, did she basically. get them? Oh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> well, she she did not get them from the person Moonin is looking after. That's the yeah. main thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you succeed at a, a negative cost with a seven. What's the fucking negative cost? Again, I have an idea, but I don't want to say it because it's too much. <sighs> I piss myself. <laughs> I piss I piss myself and I get kidney stones. <laughs> kidney stones is a bit too much even for all this. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> 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 The chicken gets magically produces another parchment and gets up close to draw things in a lot of detail. Let's say that's the negative oh. consequence. Oh my goodness. Who wants to see that? I'm gonna kill this chicken. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to blackmailing Moon and with that. No. no. Oh no. Uh well, a small little interesting tidbit. The witch does not acknowledge the chicken, but Angel, you do see it. Oh my god. Wait, why? Oh. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so she believes the lie. That's the one positive. <laughs> and my she, god. she says, she like keeps, while, while all this is happening, she continues face palming as I am in real life. And she uh, says, they could have just said all of that from the beginning. <laughs> I really, Thank you. I really could have. Well, get but... to get to it, boy. Get to cleaning and then we can discuss payment. What? Wait, what happened to me? Sorry, as a negative consequence. You get drawn again in extra detail. Oh, I draw. Sorry, yeah, that was really weird. I heard you say it and I acknowledged it, but then it was. I immediately you forgot. forgot what it was for. Maybe, maybe, but yeah. Um, okay, cool. So I'm I'm passed out now, and I'm and I'm covered I in believe, everything. I can't believe this. Angel, <laughs> uh, when he goes down to clean and he's looking very miserable about it he makes sure that Moonin gets uh, like he he basically lets him you know like he he handles them very roughly it's not my fault <laughs> my <laughs> piss and shit everywhere it kind of is but I just had an idea. I mean, it totally is I'm sorry yeah. um, um, I just had an idea this yeah. is stupid, but maybe it's. Uh, I'm. 
maybe it's in, uh, smart. I don't know. Um, Shonto, can I compel your protective and righteous Prince Charming style? Well, specifically the protective and righteous. Oh, no. Yes. What? You you have you have a fate point, so you can refuse. But So don't worry too much about it. But my compel is because your goal is to, like, prevent, like, Eusebius' death and these people going on a rampage, etc. What better way to discourage them than to show them that the Chosen of Acacius Moonin <laughs> is in this state? No! Not yet. I'm gonna go live with that. Here's a fate point. Alright. So, my, com my compel is somehow... You have to show the people of this village the state Moonin is in, with the idea that like you're disc by discrediting Moonin, you're discrediting Acacius. All right. The angel, instead of cleaning everything up, um, I think he might. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he like it. <laughs> but he signs to the witch to kind of wait. <laughs> frowns but says nothing and then he goes out of the, does he stop him if he goes out no but she looks at him like what what what's he doing like confused okay so he goes out and goes straight to Orita's <laughs> do you guys want to handle this next session because I think talking Orita into coming here might take a while sure and yeah. I would like also to... he can't talk so also, that will be a problem, but yeah, sure. I guess you can fetch always <laughs> first or something. Um, but um, and also, there's an opportunity for Ashen to get here yeah. in this mess. <sighs> so this it... literal mess. Mm. Is it a good spot then to end today's session? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. <sighs> what just happened? <laughs> what the hell just? <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe I reached that. I'm covered in dookie. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was that was pretty funny, and I can't believe how humiliated Moonin was. <laughs> oh no! Uh, uh, to be fair, it started from something that like is only mildly embarrassing. Yeah, it did, and then it just escalated so yeah, badly. It, it kept snowballing. Wow. Yeah, and it's hilarious because this whole time, and I was I was aware of this, but this whole time I could have used my stunt to lie to her. This whole time, yes, but again, the, the, you realized after the roll happened, and yeah, all that. Yeah, <sighs> I also I also sometimes feel like using that stunt. It's sometimes more interesting to not use it. <laughs> sure, yeah, but this is, is definitely it definitely interesting? Sure, but is it practical? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Although you have, you have the stunt for a reason, you know. Yeah, that's true. Good job, mm -hmm. everyone. Angel still has the statue. I think he can use it on Rita. That's true, and you can make another one as well now because you can. Because it will be the next session, and also yeah. we didn't even ask the witch for anything. I mean, we did, but we didn't get it. Right. You're in the process of getting it, and. Unless something happens, you will get it, I guess. All right. Anyway, yeah. Next session, I will be covering another one. Yeah. Um. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. It's it's a fun. It was a fun session, to be fair. Um. <laughs> again, it's a shame that Ashen misses. It's like <laughs> yeah, well, she misses all the crazy shit that happens. I'm. Before the BF, before the episode is out on YouTube, I'm gonna put in a Dropbox and give her the link in case she has the time to watch it, because I I think this is best experienced live, not told. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hundred hmm. percent. <clears throat> I hope she likes it. <laughs> I, I imagine she will find it at least as enjoyable as we did. Enjoyable, maybe being not the right word, but sure. Yeah. So, um, uh, Delhi, uh, before the craziness, can you, if you want, talk us through your plan? Okay. 
So my plan is, um, was I want. Pardon. P plans plural. You mean? No. Um... <laughs> Maybe you should use the past tense. Okay. <laughs> so my my plan was. Obviously, I'd like to fake this guy's death. Moonin doesn't know whether or not this guy is actually dead or what. Like, they probably think that Angela is covering for him. That's more than likely what's happening. But they want to... They want to... Trick Akesius into thinking, like, oh, well, this guy is dead, because Akesius can't see this guy. So, getting a... Getting a body part is going to be suspicious... Unless it's from a, unless it's a body part that's already been detached from a person, right? Hmm. So yeah, I mean, all of the pissing and 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 everything and shitting and everything like that wasn't part of the plan. But I mean, I I, uh, pretty quick question because I don't remember because it all kind of blends together. Did Moon and piss themselves? I don't think they did. No, I, d I don't think they did. But okay. I keep saying it for some reason. Okay. Um. But all of that wasn't part of the plan, but like, I mean, when in Rome, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> that's I why, that that's why I was very yeah. genuine. <laughs> I hope that answers the question, though. It does, it does, it does. Um, and, um... <laughs> <laughs> What's going from Hangyo's mind other than the compel that I gave him? I'm curious. Uh, he doesn't know what the hell is going on. Uh, by the way, I also missed what you just talked about. I'm sorry. I was distracted. So I hope it was. That's okay. The deli just detailed their master plan. That's not going to happen anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, probably. No, I, mean, I guess never say never, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. It was... No worries. It's okay. No worries. So Angel is very, like, first of all, he's super confused, he's super suspicious, and then this whole thing is happening, and he just doesn't know what the fuck. Yeah. He just got himself involved in. But I, I, at least he's, uh, thanks to the compel, he's trying to make the best of it, and hopefully something will come of that. <laughs> Even though if it comes at the, you know, total disadvantage of moving in. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm happy that I I'm happy that I compelled Angel and that you accepted. Uh, I I mean I was afraid it would be something totally bad that Angel, you know, but that really works because <laughs> Angel is like at the end of his rope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess uh, poop jokes are pretty universal, so maybe at least Angel finds this at least a little funny. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe if it works, maybe. Mm -hmm. Then you yeah. will have time to. <laughs> like, after the fact, you will make fun of Moonin as much as you can, possibly can. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe Ilona will too. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm trying to remember. This session was. Um, you you got the brief little message from Acacias, then you like tried to convince Yon that oh yeah, Eusebius is nowhere to be found, and Yon was but but we you haven't even looked for him, and then you decided well let with the pretext let's go to the witch because maybe the witch will know where Eusebius is or something. That's what you told Yon anyway, mm -hmm. and uh, then the witch happened. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess not much else happened this session. Yeah. Oh, enough happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no definitely. more, please. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I guess any other thoughts of yours before we go into our shout outs? Don't touch cow dung. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I'm protection. <laughs> Enchanted like, cow dung. on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Enchanted specifically. Yeah, that's that's generally good advice, I suppose. Okay. Um, all dear viewers, thank you for watching and listening to us. First of all, do check out Ashen. We really wish you were here for the second half. 
uh, but uh, she otherwise is a very very skilled artist and uh, craft craftsman craftswoman is craftswoman a term craft person yeah sure yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> she crafts things uh, very very skilled at it she also does commissions generally i don't know if she does them right now i've commissioned her in the past commissioner now she's awesome okay that was ashen next the dice say that we should see uh what show and tell is up to <laughs> if she will show and tell could you please go ahead and talk about yourself and what you're doing Yes, uh, so I'm Show and Tell, and I make reactions on my Patreon. Um, I'm hoping to get back to YouTube at some point, but I, I think I said that a lot, uh, at, at, you know, not a long in, time ago. So Not in this section, but um, sure. So, uh, yeah, you are very welcome to come and check it out. It's mm -hmm. fun. And I would highly encourage everyone watching and listening to do so. Um, yeah, thank you very, very much, Show and Tell. Uh, next, we would have uh, the master pooper themselves, Delhi. <laughs> Could you please go ahead and introduce, not introduce, but talk about yourself and what you're doing? Yeah, of course. Hello, everyone. I'm Delhi, and I um, poop sometimes, <laughs> um, a lot of the time, actually. And I also stream on twitch i'm a goblin vtuber and um i'm a little i'm on a little bit high uh, excuse me i'm on a little bit of a hiatus because um i always am but because my computer is being repaired at the moment so yeah i mean if you want to find me over either on tw well i mean i have a card link on screen mm -hmm. um but you can find my twitter and blue sky etc on there and also, since this episode will air one week into the future, so to say, uh, maybe Delhi will be back to streaming by then. You never know. Yeah. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hope so, too. Thank you very, very much, Delhi. And uh, I was your dungeon master, game master, Tyranor. I do this series, which is... Yeah, you, you, see, you see what it is. And I do also do another series set in the Warcraft universe, which also has had plenty of poop jokes, funnily enough, although not quite as detailed as this one, I think. Um, and I'd also recommend that one um, that you can check out. Other than that, um, thank you very, very much, dear viewers, for watching and listening to us. We should be back next week unless something happens, and if it does, I'll let you all know on Twitter, Blue Sky, the places... Um, if for whatever reason we have to delay an episode. But if we don't, um, we'll see you next time, next week, and uh, whenever we'll see you. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.